It's a little red reflective decal that New Jersey law says all drivers under 21 with a probationary license must stick onto their license plate. And according to new research by the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, Kylie's law has prevented an estimated 3,000 car crashes since it took effect in 2010. Dr. Allison Curry led the study. The New Jersey decal provision is the first provision in the U.S. So we really had a unique opportunity in New Jersey to look at the effect of New Jersey's decal. Um, and this was the first time, to our knowledge, that this has been evaluated. The Children's Hospital evaluation found that during the four years prior to Kylie's law, there was a 1.8 percent decrease in car crashes among intermediate drivers. In the two years following the law's implementation, they found that crashes decreased at four times the pace, at a rate of 7.9 percent. A spokesperson for the administrative offices of New Jersey courts says 9,500 tickets have been written since Kylie's law took effect. Some moms and dads, though, say they don't want their kids driving around with those little red decals on their license plate. Greg Troutman is one of them. I see it as a target for people to prey upon young folks. Uh, young people driving a car, a young pretty girl driving a car with a decal on it late at night, it's dark at 4.30, coming home 5 o'clock seems safe, uh, but she's got a decal on her car. That can, be, that can be a problem. Troutman is a father, but he's also an attorney, and he fought Kylie's law all the way to the state Supreme Court. He lost, but he believes that this new study is flawed. The flaw in the study is you have to know how many young drivers have decals on their, on their car. If you drive around New Jersey, as I do and you do and, and people watching do, you don't see decals on cars. To suggest that the reason for a decline in the accident rate among teen drivers, if indeed there is, I'm not even conceding that, was caused by the decals, it's absurd. Officer Gretkowski with the Bergen County Police estimates about half of teens he pulls over do not use their decal. Do they tell you why they don't put them on their car? Most of the time it's my parents told me I don't want you to have them on the car. In 2011, the state attorney general's office reviewed the law's implementation to determine whether teens were being targeted. They reported only one case where a person impersonating a police officer stopped a 17-year-old girl who then left the scene unharmed, says the report. Dr. Curry says the next question her team plans to ask is how do these decals reduce the rate of accidents? I'm Christy Duffy for NJTV News. Thank you.